Hello everybody, just gonna do a quick video today. Um, just finished up cutting hay. You guys can see, I, this is a little field that I have. Um, it was actually, the property belonged to my wife's uncle. But uh, I just wanted to do a quick video. You see the sun just went down. And uh, you know, just talking about, about farming, ranch life in general. You know, I, I heard somebody say one time that you get satisfaction from working land and livestock that you get no other place. You know, and I've been sitting in the tractor here the last couple of days cutting this this hay and I've been thinking about something that, that there's some truth to that and I can't exactly explain it. Um, you know, I, I think about contributors, contributors to society, to the world. And I think, you know what? We are just one big wheel and we're all a, a spoke of that wheel. Um, I spent 15 years in a steel mill and uh, I think about that, you know, I, I guess what made me think of that is I seen a, a news thing, or actually my wife was telling me about it, that uh, a Japanese company was going to buy uh, a big steel mill in the U.S. And I, I'm not sure what ever happened with the deal. I don't know. But, um, you know, when you think about production of steel to the contribute, contribution of, to society. You think about military. What kind of military would we have without steel? We'd have nothing, right? tanks, trucks, ships, whatever you want to say. Steel is such a big part of that. And, you know, for my little tiny farming operation, do I contribute, mu contribute much to feeding of America? Probably not really. Um, but we're all part of that. And I, I think about how we all are part of that society. I think about folks that are stocking shelves at Walmart. I'm grateful for those people. Um, you know, there's some jobs like that that seem pretty mean meaningless. They are absolutely not meaningless. Aren't we all glad for people that work at Walmart and stock the shelves? I, I know I certainly am. Um, I think with the livestock deal, there's just, there's a different feel about working with the land and livestock. I can't explain it. Like I said, I've spent half my life in a steel mill. I've spent the other half working for a big utility company. You know, I mean, my job is to part of my job or my job is working for a big company and we produce electricity we're certainly all grateful for that right and that that industry is under a lot of scrutiny right now but i don't know i just think of of how grateful for i i am for everyone that that contributed something um and i know that for me I had a lot of reflection lately that uh that beautiful sunset in the background I think we all need to take a minute and enjoy those simple things of life. But, uh, you know, I love this ranch life. I mean, my operation is so small. There's no way I can do this full time. My end goal is hopefully I can retire at some point and this will just be a hobby. Um, yeah, it'll make me enough money to, to maybe buy some bullets so I can keep the Badlands Ballistics Channel going, but that's about it. But uh, there's some satisfaction from it and I think that I need to learn to appreciate that more. And I think that we all, need to appreciate one another more. Um, you know, I, I use stocking shelves at Walmart because my son just the other day was talking about, he had heard that they're paying locally Walmart uh, shelf stockers $30 an hour. I hope they are. The Walt family is the richest people in America. Pass that on to your people. That's what I say. Um, you know, he's a he's a plumbing contractor talking about getting some apprentices to work for him and uh, You know, he's if the folks at Walmart are truly paying their people stocking shelves 30 bucks an hour He's gonna have to pay his people better to get them to come work for him. So interesting Interesting time we are economically in the world right now I talked to a guy a couple weeks ago that owns a big farm up in northern Utah I've known him and his family my entire life and uh, you know he calls it Biden economics. It has hurt him bad. He is not having a great year this year. And then, I mean, they had a big operation, uh, really big. Um, he was telling me that he was, uh, for a lot of years, was selling hay for export to China, Japan. Um, he said South Korea is buying hay right now, but they're the only ones. And the hay market in our area is completely flooded. So it's one of those strange years for sure. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video. You know, I just can't help but keep looking at that sunset. I've got about. 10 minutes worth of hay to cut. This will be my third cut, uh, be done for the year. I, knock on wood, equipment wise, I've had a pretty good year. Um, 
few minor breakdowns and that's about it and, and that's been pretty nice so anyway gonna wrap it up everybody uh, have a good night and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe